So this is what a mullen tester does. This is our one we check the gauges. When we recalibrate the gauge, we do a gauge, we put the gauge on here to make sure it's okay. We open our, this is our tripod right here. This is the yoke. So turn the machine on. We'll put what we're testing. I use, believe it or not, I use scratch tickets. I take them out the trash at, uh, at the store. It's 80 to 100 pounds, so it's really good. So I got two scratch tickets. We'll put three, actually three scratches. It's got about 300 pounds. I'll put them in there. I'll lock them down. All right, and then you check. Okay, everything's good. You take this, you run it forward, and you watch right here. Boom, right when it burst, it should, this gauge was, oh, it didn't, you gotta open the gauge. This is a dual gauge manifold. You gotta open the manifold to get the gauge to work. So, we'll run another one. I don't know if that gauge worked. I don't know if Stanley was doing with that gauge. But that's what the burst looks like after it's taken. There's three. You got a picture if this was a shirt, a uh, pair of sneakers, uh, jeans, Victoria's Secret has our thing, Nike has our uh, Nike and Oregon has our Victoria, like like a lot of places, New Balance has our machines. They check their t-shirts and their clothing and their sneakers with our machines. So picture that being some sneaker leather or some sneaker or a t-shirt or something in there. They're checking to make sure the fabric is strong enough. So after you wash it 50 times, it doesn't just fall apart. They got to know how strong the fabric is, how strong the leather is, how strong everything is. All right, so we're at zero. And yep, tester is going up. Boom, when it bursts, see how it's still going? Yep, and there's your maximum and there's reading. Your, my reading's about two, about 250. That's about what I sh was thinking with three. I think I have three there, about 75 to 80 pounds a piece. Thank you, girls. There's three, so there's a test. That's how you run the test. And that's what I was telling you that right here. After you burst the test, Right, you burst the test, goes boom. That's what the diaphragm looks like. Yep. See, the diaphragm keeps going and going and going and going, yep. and, and then you can just leave it like that. That's the diaphragm. That's what we sell a lot of 305B diaphragms. That's what bursts, that's what goes up against the fabric or the material that you're testing. It makes it burst. And once it bursts, the fluid goes all the way through all here, comes up here, and gives you your pounds per square inch. So, this material is good for 250 pounds per square inch that's that's what's good and osha and all that has different regulations on what whatever your testing has to be and that's where it meets the category and it passes it goes through quality control it passes and then keep going thank you sir